see what's on telly and we'll catch up in an hour. Okay. okay. Boring. Oh, not this crap again. Another repeat. See, they were trying to put up some shelving, but. Bloody hell, this has been on twice this week already. Very good. And the thrust is remarkable. This particular model does have Oh my god, this is so amateur. Absolutely it's terrible. It was back. The six speed gear. Is... For God's sake. That Lord Reese is tearing in his grave watching this rubbish. Sorry I'm late. You never guess what happened to Trish. She got out of her car whilst it was in gear. Oh no. Oh yes. So remember, not to add too much water to the recipe or you'll end up with... It's not the best of cars, and I dare say it, it's more for the girls this one. Today, we're going to be looking at some simple but effective exercises. First up, you need to know when to use your forearm to its full power. In the earlier example with Derek, he needs to work on Today, I'd like to talk to you about potatoes. When removing them from the ground, you may have to use... This particular model does have issues with the fuel injection though. And if not driven every day, sometimes it blows back. The six-speed gear, as you can clearly see, made in India. Okay, so while the dessert is baking, uh, you can prepare your hot baps with cheese. If we're going to use swimming as an analogy, you can't swim without getting wet, and even I was surprised at how big the training pool is. Now remember not to push yourself too hard. Did I tell you about the new neighbours? No. Constant DIY till all hours. My John kept awake because of the banging all night. That's not fair. See, they were trying to put up some shelving, but the plaster kept crumbling. They tried everything. There are optional extras, as with all cars these days, but of course... Of course, not everything is available to the average gardener. There is quite a difference in growing melons or marrows, for example. And this, well, this is absolute utter crap. Leaf tea. There are optional extras, as with all cars these days. But of course, if you want a different experience, you could try opting for the Earl edition. It was all wet. What was he expecting? Well, an expensive pearl necklace. Did you watch the latest Attenborough last night? No. I never knew how a beaver built its down. <laughs> now remember not to push yourself too hard because you could cause yourself an injury. If that happens, of course, you can always put a cold cloth on the injury or the ointment onto the affected area.
find anything to watch? Absolutely nothing on the TV. Here, you see if you can find oh, something. God. Again. Beaver, you know? Yeah, apparently the otters give them some stiff competition. Oh, I bet he gets a bit slippy around there sometimes. <laughs> exactly. There's nothing on but innuendo. You need to know when you grab it by the hard root. Or you'll end up with a moist batter. You never guess what happened to Trish. She got out of hot bats with cheese. Melons or marrows. That's been taken to the hospital because she'd spent all day on her knees. He needs to work on his ball handling skills because not everybody loves sausage. Sometimes it boils back. You can get an expert in to trim your bush, but don't cut it back too far or you could have a brown ring because of the banging all night. And the thrust is remarkable, especially if you get four inches when you're expecting 12. And since I showed him how to do it, he just loves to toss the plums. They tried everything, but it just kept slipping out. And I couldn't get it in. In order to get a rise, you need to flick to your beans. And in an instant, we work. And even I was surprised at how big his package. But of course, if you want a different experience, you could try. He bag or a pearl necklace or the appointment. On your full blooms and your a beaver. The thing is about beavers, they like to get wet. Oh, I can see that, definitely, yeah. It's something else I learned from the Attenborough programme. See, it's quite educational, really, when it's talking about beavers, you know. I do like a beaver, you know. Yeah, apparently the otters give them some stiff competition. Oh, I bet he gets a bit slippy around there sometimes. <laughs> exactly. Sometimes, don't you just feel like you get yourself in a bit of a sticky situation? Well, this is what Attenborough was trying to say. It's one crazy guy, man. One crazy guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry.